Good morning, guys. Today, I invite you to join me for my early morning routine. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. So I tried to do the cleaning up in the evening so I can wake up to a mess-free house, but going to bed with the kids makes that a little challenging at times, in which case I will start the morning by tidying up as I'm doing here. I fill up my Kinta water bottle. The opening is very wide and I find myself drinking a lot more water with this bottle. I also make myself a cup of tea with freshly grated ginger and some lemon slices, a few snaps for my early morning Instagram stories. My friend from London got me a big box of black tea so I've been using that. Sometimes I'll skip the tea and just put hot water in. But either way, I always finish off with a bit of honey and start my tea time. And when I say tea time, I literally mean tea time. I will just sit there for a few minutes, drinking my tea, doing nothing else. I don't do any meditating yet, but what I do like to do is look at the second hand on my clock. This helps me focus on now and take a little pause, which is something I rarely do. And you also realize that actual time doesn't go by as fast as you think. It's all the multitasking and thinking about this and that that makes time go by so fast. Okay, I don't do yoga yet either, but I do do some stretches in the morning to wake my body up. So these are some stretches that my trainer, who I work out with once a week through Zoom, told me would be beneficial to do in the mornings. I originally started out just doing this one stretching exercise 10 times, but because I got in a habit of doing it, I've added one more and just recently another one. Don't you just love the music and the movement? So this is the second stretching exercise I do called the Crab Reach. And recently, I've added on one more, so now I do three stretching exercises in the morning. It takes me about 10 minutes. And now I'm done. Now we start journaling. My favorite and the most important part of my morning. I started journaling at the end of last year and it has been an amazing thing to do in the morning to mentally and emotionally prepare myself for the day. I'll be uploading another video to talk about my journaling experience in more detail, what I write about, what I do when I don't have anything to write about, how to continue and make this a habit. Not only does it give you a great start to the day, it just makes you so much more conscious, more intentional and present in every aspect of your life. I journal anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes, but sometimes in the middle of journaling, this happens. Yeah, bebe. The kids with their very sensitive mommy antennas notice that I'm gone and call me back into bed. If it's early enough, the kids will go back to sleep again, so I will come out and resume my morning. Once I'm done journaling, I will open up my computer and log into Zoom to join study hall, which is something that we do in our community, Sea Place. We have a Zoom meeting set up from 5 to 7 in the morning and also from 8 to 10 in the evening where people can come in and join others like themselves working or journaling or doing whatever it is they want to focus on. We use the note feature to say hello and tell each other about what we're going to be doing that morning and we get to work. And this is where I usually start planning my day. But before I could finish putting woke up once again, this time for good. So that's where my morning ends and our morning begins. So here she's whispering in my ear, can we update our morning to-do list? Which is something we've been talking about for a while. And so, why not? 
turning on the lights and bringing my computer. A little bit of goofing around. Well, Sada-san came down to take a break from his shadowing and was very surprised to see Pudding already awake. Soon after, Clover woke up as well. Oh, oh my gosh, you're up too! Oh my gosh, everybody's Daddy. getting And now, here begins our hectic morning. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> Ready for breakfast? Bless you. I'm Hold on, because I'm going to burn your lunch. B. B O O B O O K S. Books. B O O. So however you tell him, it's really hard for him to listen. Which is really hard for us to deal with, but it's just part of his growth. Even if he doesn't do what you're telling him to do, he's still listening to your words. So when he gets older and he's able to talk, he'll talk a lot nicer because he's been listening to your nice voice. It's really, really good the way you talk to him. I definitely did not have this much patience before I started waking up early in the morning. The fact that I have time to mentally prepare myself for anything that's about to happen <laughs> definitely helps in welcoming the kids and trying to have this positive attitude no matter what happens. <laughs> Updated morning checklist. Good job. If you get ready now, you have really long free time because we're early. Do you want to go ahead and brush your teeth again? <laughs> and this is how Pudding's morning routine begins. So that was a glimpse of my early morning routine. I want to make sure that I get my tea time in, just get a few minutes where I'm not doing anything because that doesn't happen very often in my day. And also um, the stretches in, then journaling. So I do try to do those three, but I don't want a rigid routine because I know that if I make one and it's like, oh, this is my ideal routine, usually what happens is the kids wake up early and I'm like, oh, I didn't get through my routine. No, so I wanna keep it as open as possible and just do a couple things that make me feel good in the morning. It's been about a month since I've been doing this and about two weeks since I started waking up at four. And it actually hasn't been that difficult for me as long as I get a good night's sleep. What I notice with myself is that once I started getting up at four and I have a little more time, I become more ambitious and want to do more, want to accomplish more in my morning. And I realized that while I was doing that, I would get stressed out if the kids wake up early. One morning and Clover was crying a bit, so I went in there and uh, I thought he would go back to sleep, but he wouldn't. And I was like, oh, 
And it was like really, it was like 5.30 or something. And I'm just like, okay, there goes my morning. There goes all the things I planned. And then I was like, wait a minute. I started getting up early because I wanted to get rid of stress. But now I had this like brand new stress. And I was like, whoa, 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 no, this is not why I became a morning person. I became a morning person to get rid of the stress. So I stopped myself and I said, I am not going to make this full on routine, ambitious routine. I'm just gonna do a few things that I can manage uh, between the hours from four to five because 99.9% .9 of the time, that time frame won't be interrupted. I try not to plan much outside of that. Anything I can do beyond that is a bonus. Like, wow, I got so lucky this morning and it's not something that I'm expecting of myself or hoping for. I'm not even hoping for it. It's like, oh, I got that done. Lucky me. Otherwise, I start creating more stress for myself and that's not what these mornings are for. And I'm really glad I realized this because for a few days I was like, oh, I'm getting used to waking up before. Like I can do this. I can do so much more in this time frame. The mornings are awesome and I am going to just do it all. And then like comes the you know, the footsteps <laughs> at six in the morning. I'm like, no, you're supposed to be asleep for another hour and I'm supposed to do all these things. But I soon realized that was a bad way to go. It really is more about becoming emotionally and mentally ready for the day. As long as I have that, anything else is a bonus is how I try to look at it. And it's great because now my kids, they do wake up, you know, Clover's been waking up kind of early lately and we just play for a while and it's fine and it's great. First thing this morning, he just like pulls me, you know, I'm already awake. So he comes out in the living room and he's like, grabs my hand and pulls me to go upstairs. Like play, play, play. And I'm like, okay, we'll play for 30 minutes. Time to play, morning play. It's nice because when I wake up early and the kids wake up early, we can do that. And we just have a lot more time to just, you know, enjoy ourselves and enjoy each other. <laughs> as much as I want the kids to, sleep in so I have more time to myself. I feel like the kids do a lot better when they wake up early as well. When they have more time to get ready for school mentally and emotionally, they're much happier going to school. When they're like in a hurry, they gotta like stuff breakfast down and mommy and daddy are like, okay, let's get ready, let's get ready. It's stressful for them too. So I do go and wake the kids up at a certain time now. I never did that before. I'd be like, please sleep in as long as you'd like. I wake up the kids at least two hours, two and a half hours before they have to go to school. Cause then that gives them a little bit of time to do something they have fun doing. They have time to eat breakfast at their own pace. They can watch a little TV, which they love to do and we can get ready. So I felt that waking up early is good for the kids as well. I have no intention of creating like a full on routine for my mornings, but I have been kind of playing around with what I like to do in the mornings when I do have time. If I'm sleepy, doing housework wakes me up because I'm moving around the house, I'm cleaning, organizing, folding laundry. If I feel like I have a lot of work to do that day, I will get started on a few items that's not that time consuming. Other times I will do something that I don't normally have time for during the day. Like they're work related things, but they're more kind of future goals or things that I'd like to do and get done, but just never have the time for it. Like it's always on my to-do list, like take an hour to do this, but you look back on the day and you're like, oh, okay, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Those things that you want to do, but it, you just can't find the time for it once you start working and start your work day. And I realized that when I do that in the morning, if and when I have time, I feel very energized and super productive because it's still, what, 7 a.m. and I got something done that I haven't been able to get done in the last month. And so instead of doing something that I always do for work, I do something that I haven't been able to do. And that makes me feel like that tricks my mind into thinking like, oh my gosh, like today's great. I've done so much. So that's definitely something I'm gonna try and do in the mornings when I have time. I'm actually working on an app. I have the Help Me Travel app with the travel phrases. I'm trying to make an app for sharing about Japan, guiding tourists through Japan, just things to explain about the Japanese culture. We have a lot of visitors right now. And when you go overseas and people ask you about Japan, like being able to explain that. I'm trying to work on an app called Help Me Guide. Help Me Guide people through Japan. 
that has been on my list for such a long time. And it's been so hard to find the time to get it done, but I know that it'll be really good and I know that I need to do it. So yeah, it's always a juggle between current projects and new projects for me, because I have so much going on. But the mornings are kind of helping me make a slot for that. Not every day, but a lot more than before. And I feel really good when I do that. On the flip side, something that does not make me feel productive is being on social media. I think that's the case with a lot of us. Even if it's work related, I still don't feel very productive when I find myself on social media for a long time. One, I feel like the time goes by so much faster. I don't know why. I, I don't know, you get lost in all the content, I don't know. And the other thing is you spend an hour on social media, what do you really have at the end of it that you can say like, I did this? Whereas like, I don't know, editing a video, you got this far editing this video, you're this much close to completing it. There is never an end, right? There's, it never completes. So I think being on social media is just, it's harder to feel like you did something. And so I realized that I am not going to do social media stuff in the morning and rather do something that has a more concrete, clear goal because that makes you feel like you're more productive and it gets your day off to a good start as opposed to being like, oh, I spent an hour and I'm not quite sure what I did. So yeah, these are some of my findings after kind of a month of waking up early and having this time that I didn't have before. One of you on Instagram asked me whether I feel like kind of lonely when it's so dark in the morning. Oh my God, I love it. You know, when you think of a morning routine video, it's kind of like nice sunshine and bright, but I kept it very dark on purpose because that's like what I love about my early mornings. It's just like, oh, it's still dark and it's just so peaceful and quiet. I just turn on my kitchen light. I don't turn on all the lights and I just love that kind of dim atmosphere. Osada-san wakes up and he's like, aren't you gonna turn the lights on? And I'm like, no, I like it like this. He wants to turn on the lights because he feels like he's gonna go back to sleep if it's too dark. I actually haven't had that problem. There are days when I do feel a little sleepy, in which case I will turn on more lights, but for the most part, I like it dark. <laughs> so as you saw in my routine, I make tea in the morning. Someone mentioned in my Instagram stories that you can grate a bunch of ginger and freeze it, and then you can just crack it little by little and put it in the tea, and it makes that process a lot speedier. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. But at the same time, Right now, because I've just become a morning person, I love the fact that I have time to grate a slice of ginger every morning for my tea. So for the time being, I am going to slice and grate my ginger every morning. But once that gets a little boring, because I do tend to get bored of things that I do over and over again, I might switch it up to the freezing and use that time to do something else. And you know, I, I receive comments that some of this is genetics. You're genetically a morning person or a night person. And yeah, I don't know much about it. I haven't done research. I just know what I'm doing and what I experienced. So I guess research shows that it is a genetical thing. For me, it was not because I am able to get up in the mornings and stay awake. I feel like I'm more awake during the day than I was when I was sleeping from like two to seven. So I'm glad I didn't know because I think if I would have read or heard that being a morning person or a night person was genetics, I would have been like, oh, too bad. My DNA says I'm a night person, so I can't do mornings. And I think I would have just used it as an excuse. For some people, it's a valid reason. But for me, I think it would have just been an excuse because obviously I don't think I am genetically a night person because I feel much better being a morning person now. So there might be people like me who you just haven't had enough of a reason or the experience to feel how great it is or have done it long enough to understand the benefits. Try, try a few more tactics and if it doesn't work, maybe it is a genetical thing and trying to do something that your body just cannot do is probably stressful. So I wouldn't say keep doing it. But yeah, for me, it was not a genetical thing, I think. And I'm glad that I have finally, finally switched over to mornings because I feel like that's better for my body, which is crazy because for the longest time, I thought I was better at night and I'm not. Here I am like turning 40 this year. And for the last 40 years of my life, I thought I was something I wasn't. Also, I think someone mentioned age as well. You tend to need less sleep and you tend to wake up earlier as you age. So someone's like, well, maybe now that you're 40, you can get up early. Okay, maybe that's the reason. I don't know. But the important thing is I found what's right for me. That's the most important. You don't have to be a morning person if that's not right for you. You just find what's right for you and what you feel good about and what makes you better 
and uh, mornings have definitely made me better. And yeah, and I plan on continuing it. I think I've done it long enough that even if I have a few late nights, like if I'm up past midnight, I can still get up pretty early, maybe not four, but at least five. I've become less scared to stay up a little later. I don't wanna make that a pattern, but sometimes I'll see my friends or something and I don't wanna be like, okay, gotta go to bed at 10, bye, good night. So it's nice to have kind of the, like a two hour flexibility where I can go to bed at midnight. And the biggest thing why I'm able to to continue this is because I am having fun. I love waking up early now. Like I look forward to that. Like when I go to bed at night, I'm like, okay, it's 10 o'clock kids, time to go to sleep. And I'm just, I just cannot wait for it to be morning where I can get up and do my things. That's why I'm able to continue it. I'm not the type of person that can do something that I don't want to do or that I don't like to do. And so I just like it and it's fun and I'm having a blast getting up early and I think that's why I'm able to do it. So for me, that's super important. So as I'm changing my lifestyle a bit and I'm trying new things, I have so much to share with you guys. So uh, going forward, I will be sharing with you more of my discoveries about kind of this new lifestyle and hopefully some of it inspires you. And thank you guys so much for all the comments. As you guys might have known, like the comment section has been open on videos like this. Let me know if you guys are trying out this morning thing. Um, let me know what you guys do in the mornings, like the top three things like you have to want to do in the mornings to get a good start. Share those with me in the comments and yeah, I will see you guys again soon. Before we go, let me tell you about Sea Place. 私が運営している online community の C プレイス、人生一度きりだからチャレンジしてみようという共通のマインドを持っている地下友の皆さんが集まっている場所です。目標がある人でも、目標を見つけたい人でも、Everyone's welcome! バイリンガー英会話でシェアしている海外とか英語、子育て、キャリアなどのテーマをもとに楽しくつながって交流しています。オンラインイベントはいろいろとありますが、最近はオフラインのミートアップも増えています。イベントに参加できなくても投稿を見ているだけでもたくさんの刺激があると思います最近は私がハマっているジャーナリングがコミュニティ内でにぎわっていてみんなで自分探しに取り組んでみたり Zoom につなげて一緒に朝活したり私とも一気に距離が縮む場所だと思うので気になる方はぜひ概要欄のリンクをチェックしてみてください英語を話せなくても大丈夫海外経験がなくても No problem 一歩踏み出してみたい刺激が欲しい仲間が欲しいチカちゃんとつながりたいと思ったら Just try it. I'll be waiting for you at Sea Place. Bye.